Hey friends, how are you today? I am uh, shooting this video on my phone because it's going to be kind of like a mini vlog. I'm calling it Morning in the Makeup Room. And we're just going to chat and, you know, hang out. Yesterday, Bubba, aka Ugga, got to go over and play at Nana's house. And while he was there, one of the things I did was I, like, straightened up my whole room and I got my new, like, spring palette curation going there. And I also was going to try just experimenting with a very quick and easy makeup routine today. I'm holding my coffee here because I really Really need to take a drink. But that was a really big deal that he was able to go hang out with Nana because we have just been for the last several months like just so incredibly careful about not trying to get any germs in contact with mom or dad. And dad is, you know, out on the other side of chemo. He's had some good follow-up appointments now and he's kind of been given the go-ahead to like live a normal life, so to speak. And anyway, he went over and played there yesterday and I just realized like there are so many things around this house that I need to get done. Okay, my rollers still aren't quite hot enough. I was going to put in rollers, but they're not ready yet. But I've just felt like I'm kind of in a survival mode lately between mom life and cheer, getting my YouTube stuff done. Let's just say I've got a lot of spring cleaning on tap, okay? A lot. Okay, I got my skincare on. I was actually cold this morning. I have had this one sweatshirt up here in the makeup room. I put it on. No, I, I don't usually feel cold around the house, but our temperature like took a dip the other day. And this morning, it's just cold. Just doing my daily unibrow eviction. Don't mind me. Okay, we're popping in our rollers. I'm usually like not incredibly careful about this process, especially when I'm just throwing in this set of the T3s. It's the volumizing set that has two sizes in it, and all in all, they're both really big. I think the whole point is this is something you can do quickly. This is something that you don't have to really slave over. Just get your hair in it somewhat neatly, and you'll be good. So there's four of the biggest ones and four of the... Um, slightly smaller sizes. These are my favorite for volume, but if I'm like, let's say kind of running behind, maybe getting ready before church, and maybe there's only like 15 minutes that my rollers are gonna be in, my set that I have downstairs are the Remington ones with the clips that stay on them. I believe I've talked about these in a video and I'll link to them below, but those are the greatest if you're short on time because the clips get hot too. So it's like your hair is getting hot from two sides and the rollers themselves are a little bit smaller. So you just get a little more like action out of them, you know? So yeah, those are the best if you're short on time. These are the best for like just overall volume from the root. And I guess I was just feeling like having that today. See, this is the size comparison. This is a slightly smaller one, just a little smaller. These are not so much about the curl. They're just about giving the hair some shape. And it does help when you've got layers in your hair. Like I, even though my hair has grown out a little bit since my last haircut, it's still like layered hair. This is not an amazingly done roller job, but it will get the job done. When you go in with the clips, you wanna feel like they're really touching the scalp as they actually clip in. This sweatshirt is huge, this is not ideal. Not sponsored by Revlon. Revlon may or may not make any appearances in this video. So the makeup look that I wanna do, I was running across, I think it was YouTube Shorts, and I saw a few different celebrities that were like using the Laura Geller baked makeup routine, and I thought, that's cool, that's cool, Laura Geller, and I thought I might do my Laura Geller makeup routine. I've got this Spackle Primer, this is in the original Ethereal Rose Glow. I have not used this a bunch. They're not doing the mattifying one, which was so good, and I don't know if people were just scared off by the word mattify but that stuff was amazing it gave moisture but a really pretty actual effect on pores and I, I maybe they just need to rename it because that stuff was great but this one's giving me just a little glow to start off and then if I'm going to do like a powder foundation look I'm going to start off with some concealer because this is my like creamy liquidy step so I'm just going to do a little elf hydrating in light peach in all of my classic concealer spots and we're just gonna move that around a little bit this isn't really anything earth shattering that you haven't seen me do before as far as the blending of concealer but i take the small end of this brush and i make my concealer take up some more space and then use your big side and we're dabbing 
and we're just dabbing over that and we're keeping coverage because this brush like yes it can get in there but do you see what I mean how I'm just like pressing over the spread out concealer and then I'm I'm blending but not over blending is sort of the whole point we're just working with primer and concealer at this point if there's anything else on the brush you can spread it around some but now we're ready for our light to medium coverage powder foundation so i wear the balance and brighten i have it in the shade medium here i may use the light sometime because i have the light and then i've got laura's retractable kabuki brush which is kind of neat because you can adjust this and make it a more like dense brush or a more full brush but i'm just going to pick up some of this and start dabbing it around on the face. This is her like light to medium coverage powder foundation product. If you want a fuller coverage powder foundation from Laura, look to the one called Double Take. I have done a full routine using the Double Take before it's really good. But I'm just gonna kind of work this over about half the face first so you can see what's going on. Sometimes it's harder to tell, right? Like if I'm using something like this compared to a liquid that you've obviously seen me swipe across my face. We can see how one side is getting a little more color and coverage. Go over my nose with it. And now work over this side. And it's just not one of those powders that you're gonna go into. And I mean, you can't see any fallout kicking up from this, but I can see that it's smoothing out discoloration and like little spots and stuff that I just have on my skin. Little freckles even are looking less obvious or stark and I may just want to take like if anything's left on this triangle powder puff I'm going to get right in there so I can actually hit the inner corner but there's the complexion I think it's looking really good and even now then I'm going to use my bronzer from this I've got Tahitian glow in here I've got honey dipped which is a little deeper has more shimmer my blushes are tropic hues and honeysuckle and then I've got the French vanilla highlight and the Dolce de Leche highlight and it's called the cheek to cheek tropical glow face palette and I will link to this below I have been loving this palette ever since Christmas and I'm going into my Tahitian glow using a little bronzer brush here and something that I noticed was like some people will use this brush for all their Laura Geller steps and you could you could use that as bronzer and blush too but yeah I'm just picking this up taking this around I don't think I'm going to do like an entire full face on this video I'm just sort of showing you my little powder foundation complexion routine this roller is just hanging sorry rollers there Okay, so that's my Tahitian Glow. I like Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is a pretty, like, I can even use a little bit for you here. It's it's just kind of a soft, earthy blush. It does give you a blush look and like a slight bit of rosiness, but it's it's soft. It adds glow to the cheeks. I think you can see a little bit of rosiness, but not tons. I'm here for the Tropic Hues. I love this shade so much. It's got swirls of like coral, peach, there's a little bit of lilac in there. It is such a pretty blush. And it just, it looks perfect on the face and it really livens up the face. And it gives you that little bit of extra glow. And these are shades that can be bought individually too. So if there's just one thing that appeals to you. You can get it on its own. And for most things, check the Laura Geller website because she does discounts frequently. I feel like she's almost always got like a 40% off thing going on. It's crazy. Okay, so there's that. And then a real quick... French Vanilla. This is your Barely There highlighter that just kind of gives brightening. It gives smoothing and blurring, but it does not give lots of shimmer. Can you see what happened on that cheek there? Brightening, smoothing, a teeny bit of pearlescent sheen, but never too much. And then this other one that they put in here, this Dolce de Leche, this goes there. So if I do a small dab of this, this is your like shouting from the rooftops like really bold shimmer potentially okay I, I just have a little bit on there i can really see it a lot in person um i like to take excess off my brush and then go ahead and blend it out okay i have done a lot of powdery steps my skin looks really fresh and i think it's because of the gentle sheen and glow in those blushes but i'm going to use a little bit of my covergirl priming glow mist Perfect fan of mist, wide fan of mist that's never too much. And yeah, I'm loving the look. I'm going to do a few more steps and come back. And I'm sorry, I feel like maybe the camera, I'm just now realizing that my camera here might have been a little bit blurry. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but can you see the makeup look where we're at now? 
and can I just say, like, part of why I haven't had a lot of time, like, I have a four-year-old. Can he play on his own? Yes. Will he sometimes entertain himself, like, get down with his toys and be fully immersed in that? Yes. But if I'm around, he wants me being with him, interacting with him, and, you know, as I should. And some might say, well, like, try to engage him in the tasks, you know, like, if you're trying to get something done around the house, get him to help. And I will say, he, that kid will dust bust. He loves to be involved in any kind of, like, sweeping up, wiping down, cleaning up things. Like, he likes that. But, I mean, I need to do some organizational tasks that require me to not be pulled away from them every five minutes, you know? Like, that's my issue. I need to get down in my furnace room where I've like taken the Christmas decor that I've taken down and it's got certain places to be but right now it's just there because we only had time to just stick it in there you know what I mean I've got an area like behind our little bar in the bar room area where stuff has just been getting put because that's kind of a concealed area and it's just behind and we just add another thing back there and you know it comes a time when things actually have to get organized and when you have no time to organize like I've been kind of burning the candle at both ends as far as video creation goes because I have to squeeze that in like I will fall asleep on the couch editing a video because I didn't have enough time to fully get it done during nap time you know what I'm trying to say is mom I appreciate you <laughs> I appreciate all the help that she usually provides. And we're all like just kind of itching to get back to seeing one another again. And But at the same time, not wanting to compromise dad's health if anybody is sick. But as time passes and he gets more and more, you know, distanced from having had the chemo and his white blood cells are doing what they're supposed to be doing. We're getting further and further away from the chemo and closer and closer to normal. Yep, I'm doing it, guys. I'm using my face palette as my eyeshadow. I'm just taking that Tahitian glow bronzer and I use that very easily in my crease and kind of above and then I'm gonna do um I need a flat-ish brush I'm gonna take some honeysuckle it's got like you know these swirls of pink and like maybe dusty rose and beige Oh, wow. In an opaque way or just the area of that that I picked up, it's looking really light on my lid. Yeah, because I, I went like right over here. Okay, and then maybe I do a little bit of this honey dipped. Like, I know this is going to be shimmery, but eh, bronzy on the outside of the lid. Just an easy light look. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to finish with some mascara and find my lip and lose my roller. Here's my easy natural look. Um, all I went on to do, I did some of this lazy liner across the top and smudged it on the bottom, the Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Liner. This is the Smoky Amethyst shade. It's like a dark plum. You guys, I will shout it from the rooftops next time QVC is selling like a seven pack of these for a great price. Like that was how I got onto these. It was like pre-Christmas. And by the time I got them in and like got to try them all and realized how amazing they are, the set had sold out. So yeah, next time I sniff out a multi-pack of those, I'm going to be screaming it to you guys because that was a really great deal. So anyway, I did that. My mascara today is this naturally Too Faced Better Than Sex, the new tube. I'm kind of trying to reinforce some curl that wants to drop here a little bit, but it does give me really nice length, I gotta say. So I got that on. I put this on the bottom. Let's clean up as we go now that the makeup desk is all cleaned off, shall we? Yeah, it doesn't have to live out there forever. My nice little lip here. Oh yes, I love this naturally blurred looking like I was born with pigmented lips color here. This is Wet n Wild. This is the soft blur in the shade I'm Shy. So it looks like this. It's just a smooth lipstick. It feels velvety soft as it goes on. Oh, Bub's texting me back. <laughs> Do you guys know Dusty Slay on um, TikTok? It's like that comedian with the glasses and the long hair. I think he is so funny. <laughs> I think he's like the funniest person. Also, Bub calls me. It's like a quarter till six. He calls me. I'm like, why is he calling me? He's reminding me that he's going to play basketball with Andy this morning. Like, Things happen early in this house, apparently. Yeah, he's doing a little 6 a.m. basketball. Here's my proof that I actually cleaned up. We have some bare desk area there. These aren't used Kleenex. These are just extra blotting Kleenex because I need to get some more Kleenex in here because there's just nothing in there. Let's talk about this area. We've got new, like, kind of spring background. I have these little lights that kind of show gently, delicately in the background of a video. I like the lamp back there. I'm enjoying that. And then this is my spring palette curation. Hey, I can creep in the reflection of the palette. Ooh. It's a lot of soft neutrals. 
and I put my little new Wet n Wild things because a lot of you guys wanted to see the Always Blushing involved in something. And I just freaking love this Ultimate Neutrals at all times. And then I've got my new one there from Hard Candy. You want me to show you what the palettes are that I've pulled out? I pulled out my Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Combination of not using this in a while and also feeling like that could be a pretty spring look. A couple of these ColourPop palettes that I also felt were underused and might give me a similar look to Retro, actually. There's the Making Mauves and there's Blush Crush. All right. From Viseart, I pulled out my Paris Love Letter palette. This really makes me think spring. You got that little spring green. You've got the light lavender, the peach. Honestly, it's kind of like a snapshot of some of the things that were going on in the Once palette. Not fully, but just like a few of my light pops. They're in this one. The Violets by Juvia's Place. Last year for Cheer, we had a certain like custom makeup palette to use on the girls. It had like purples and blacks. It was I think a nine color palette and that is what I've been using on the girls this year as well because they basically want purple lid black on the outside okay would this be better lighting if I put it over here oh yeah like a million times better but I guess they weren't getting that palette for parents this time around and they just told everybody to get this Juvia's Place palette and so just out of sheer interest I mean I had last year's but I thought I want to try the violets by Juvia's as well and I've just been using this on myself it's got the shimmery purples and it's got this near black over here and I used that this past weekend I thought it looked really good um, so I'm keeping that handy. I pulled out a lot of Juvia's Place stuff. This was my most recent purchase, the Coffee Shop palette. Oh, this I love. I adore the richness in here. If you're just in a brown mood, you're like, I want my look to be brown. Get this. And if you also like taupe, because there's a lot of taupey shimmer things happening and just all in all richness. You can count on Juvia's for the richness. What else did I pull out from that brand? My Nubian palette. Are they still selling this? Because I've had this a long time. Ooh, look at that nice bit of warmth. It's not super orangey warmth, but it's it's tasty. I also pulled in my Nubian too. Look at these shades. I thought, let's have some fun. You know, let's pull in that blue. Let's play with that green, the brighter golds. Yes. I've got my Unveiled palette from Sydney Grace. Oh, gorgeous pure gorgeousness. This may be one of my favorite color schemes that they've put out, and I loved Unbreakable Bond. Oh, it's tight between Unbreakable Bond and this one, but I really love that. From ABH, I pulled in the Nouveau palette. This makes me think spring. If you just throw in a couple pastel pops, it's going to make me think spring. <laughs> Talked about this before, but I think Essence did an awesome job on this Shake It Up palette. This is for when I'm really wanting to go there warmth-wise, when I'm really feeling a toasty, maybe bronze up the skin type of look and wanting the eyes to definitely follow suit. This was already in my little palette curation station, and I'm keeping it there because I want to use this more. This is a really pretty palette. I mean, and think of the range. We've got black, we've got all these mattes here, and then we've got pinky kinds of pops, a variety of shimmery directions. Yes, that's called Rose Gold Remastered. I also kept my Ms. Nude York palette here from the Balm. Want to get some more use out of that. Basic neutrals, yes, but a really good palette. Really like classic glamour, um, naturally shadowed type of look. I love Too Faced Italian Spritz, and I thought now is the perfect time to get back into that. So look at all that fun that's in there, different color directions we can go. I just tell you, I've got my three Patrick Ta palettes that have like a permanent home in this thing. Major Dimension 1, 2, and Matte. And then I had also realized that they do still sell the Dominique Cosmetics Latte palette. These are buttery, creamy rich nice shades so I, I'm keeping that out and the berries and cream which when I'm in the mood for like a navy berry navy kind of look I thought that might be fun those are all the palettes I have in there now I got to figure out how to fit them back in it's not precisely the way I had it before but I think it still looks good over here I have my Milani lipstick still because I love that packaging that's some of my favorite lipstick packaging ever and they're a nice happy family of 12 and now we're going to take out these rollers let's see what we're working with Here's what you should do before you tip your head over. Take a little hairspray around all over, okay? Then the Dallas Cowboys hair flip delayed because we're doing the shampoo fingers. Get all in there at the root because you're kind of breaking up the sections where the rollers were sitting. And flip and boom. 
How do we want to do it today? I need to keep a comb up here because that's ideally what I would use to go through and tease a little bit, but it doesn't always take a lot and a brush can do it too. I got a little kink in it right here, which I shouldn't have had. So I am going to go side part. But see what I mean? It's a volume and shape thing. It's not a huge curl thing. The curl does hold pretty well in my hair with this stuff. Like my volume will go down a bit, but I will continue to have this shape in my hair, okay? So I'm just gonna put these little clips away. Um, I also have this up here, and I think what I have done at times is let the heat sit on my hair from that front roller, and then I'll take it out at one point and put in the Velcro roller. That was a little trick I think I did to keep good shape in the front. And I'm already sticking it behind my ear, but... Devotional time. Again, this is the one where you've got the space to write. I really like it. I do my three things I'm grateful for after I read this. And then I just kind of do a bit of a reaction, I guess, to the devotional I've read. And then they always give you the actual Bible verses that I think inspired the write-up. And I think that's cool because that gives you ideas when you do your Bible reading time, either now or later. You can look up those things and you can kind of get more context from where this is all coming from. Let me help you through this day, it starts out by saying. Good, because I need the help. Okay, this is a hard one. Consider it all joy whenever you are enveloped in various trials. Those are gifts reminding you to rely on Jesus. And I am getting better about noting that immediately. Like when I run into something, I'm like, this is a trust situation, isn't it? <laughs> This is one of those you must trust me situations. One of the verses here is Psalm 63, 7 through 8. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Okay, so my three things I'm going to put down that I am grateful for today. I love the look out the window. I love when it looks blue out the window in the morning. I like that time of morning before it really gets bright and it looks actually kind of blue outside. Oh, hello. Hey, root for team Biddy. Root for team Biddy. I feel better. I love you, Biddy. Love you too, Mom. Did you have fun at practice last night? Mm-hmm. It's Thursday, and my calendar says for lunch today it is nachos. Nachos, yeah. Do you like nachos? Yeah, there's cheese sauce. Yum. I love nachos. That's one of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should show up and just sneak into the cafeteria today. Just sneak in. Well, my team is Tim or. And oh, I forgot. That's why you're talking about teams. They're doing scooter races today at school. Well, you know, even if you don't win, you're still awesome, right? Mm -hmm. You still slay the day in yeah. so many ways. Okay. This is a vlog, so you can say, catch you later. Bye-bye. So my first point is I like these mornings looking out the window. Did you see what I'm saying? It looks even deeper blue than my camera is showing off, but like, it's like a blueness over everything. I love that. My other gratitude point is, um, Nana and Papa helping me out yesterday. And I'm also grateful that we had a good practice last night. Good practice with my teams. And then I kind of used the rest of this space to write about the devotional. Hi, sweetie. How are you, cutie? She says, hi, vlog. I need love in the morning. I need scratches and I need pets. This is Biscuits. Rosie is the one who always clamors to get into the girl's room. And she sleeps usually on Belle's bed early in the morning. She goes in there. Sometimes she stays for a while. Oh, yes. You're an angel cat, aren't you? You're an angel. The other day we were talking about how grateful we were for these kittens. And Eve says, but I miss Bakey, you know, Cupcake. And I said, I think she's an angel that helped bring these kittens to us. Mm-hmm. So friends, thank you all for being with me this morning for this like mini morning vlog. Um, let me know if you like these and I will do more um, maybe weekend vlogs, day in the life types of things too. I think that's fun and I really did enjoy getting back into it. So thank you for your time. I love you all and I will see you again very soon. Bye.